Hello everyone! So, guess what? I am back to do another review and give my thoughts on a product that, that I bought from Amazon. So, I decided that I am ready to get in better shape and uh, get healthier and eat better and watch my calories and watch my carbs and drop these 10 to 12 pounds that I've put on over the winter to get myself ready for summer. So I bought myself a smart watch. Now I have an iPhone and I do not want to spend the money on an, on an Apple watch. It's just, I am not going to spend a few hundred dollars on a watch. First of all, I never even wear watches. I'm not a big jewelry person. I got my little mother's ring. And um, I got my little necklace that I bought from Marshalls. And I like to wear earrings. But other than that, I'm not a big uh, jewelry fan. And I never wear watches. So this is actually going to be kind of weird for me, wearing a watch all the time. However, I figured I spent 40 it's $45. I'll, I'll show you the links down below. Once we get into this, um, you'll get to see, uh, like I said, I'll share the links down below. And then oh, I got a little excited. I lost myself for words. Anyhow, <laughs> as I was saying, I, um, I'm not a big watch fan. So this is going to be something new for me. Um, I'll leave the links down below, but nonetheless, let's get started. Here is the watch. It is a smart watch, like I said. It is made in China. There are four colors, black, gray, blue, and pink. And of course, I got the color pink. Here are just a couple of product images. It has the call where you can answer calls. It has your heart rate monitor, your steps, your walks, your sleeps, your heart rate. Oh yeah. It was $59.99. I got it in the color rose. I said pink, but uh, they call it rose. It got four and a half stars. So, I will put the link below in the description box. There was only one review that I saw that was bad about this watch. And that was that somebody said that the screen scratches very easily. Now I do see they have a little plastic covering here that you can take off. I'm thinking that it's a possibility you could probably put a small little screen protector on that just to keep it from scratching. That was the only bad review that I saw about this watch. Other than that, the reviews were phenomenal. I honestly feel like this is not the band that I saw in the photograph. Um, this is like a plastic rubbery. Rubbery. It's kind of rubbery, which, which is fine. That's fine. Um, but that's not what I actually like thought I saw. Um, so, oh, oh, there it is. Okay, guys. So you actually get two uh, bands. So... It must just come with this band, and because I ordered, the one that I ordered actually had this band. So that's kind of nice. That's really nice. They give you two bands, too. So this was, the, this was the one I thought I was getting. So, hey, I'm pleasantly surprised. You get two bands. Um, I like this one better because this is the one that I thought I was getting. So let me go ahead and put this on and we'll fire this bad boy up we'll see what this is all about so we have the watch face we have a charger we have the 
the rubberized watch band and then we have the one that I ordered so I'm going to make an assumption here that if you order the blue you will get a, a blue rubber one and you'll get the blue one like this I'm just gonna make an assumption I may not be correct so you'll have to do your own research but as far as I know I ordered this one and it came with this and this so double whammy something that I noticed right away is this wristband do you see this little blue area right here it seems to be magnetic so there is no clasp it is magnetic so it sticks I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about but so you would wrap it around your wrist and this would just stick so if you if that helps a little bit it just sticks so that is magnetic um, where this one right here looks like it has a snap that goes into the little holes so remember you'll get one where it has snaps into the holes and the color one is magnetic so it is just going to magnetic on there I'm not really sure how I feel about that because if you get oh wow that's <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's a good thing. That is strong. Because I'm thinking if you got it caught, is it going to rip right off? I suppose if you got it caught really hard, it will just rip right off. But just getting it caught on like, you know, your clothing or something, that's, it's, it's pretty strong. Pretty strong. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. That's strong. Wow. For magnetic, that's pretty strong. Okay, let's get this thing fired up. Okay, I'm not going to lie, I had an extreme difficulty trying to get this band on. You have to um, string through these little pins, uh, through these little clasps, and then you have to make sure that it's correct so that your flap is, your magnetic flap is correct uh, on the inside. Um, it was very difficult. There is nothing in the instructions that tell you about how putting the band on. Uh, call me a blonde. I don't know what you want to say, but it was not that easy. Uh, the band that it came with the little rubber band, the little pins were already in it. So I thought it would be easier just to hurry up and put this on for purposes of the video. And I even had a difficult time doing that because the first time I put it on, it was, this was going down and then this was going up and then your band was all wrapped around on the inside, which would be a double band on your wrist. And I had to finagle, finagle, finagle to get it to go on correctly. And there is nothing in the user manual or the directions that tell you how to put that band on. So that's just something to be aware of it uh is a little tricky to get that band on correctly so i'm going to peel the paper off of it and then i'm going to turn it on Ugh, now it doesn't want to come off let me try right here so i'm just going to peel this paper off voila there we go Okay, so the charger is this little magnetic. Okay, so we got the USB thing that you would plug into your USB port, you know, into your outlet. And then you have this little magnetic piece right here on the back of the watch. It is actually going to go right here in this tiny little spot. And it is magnetic. So it is stuck there and that is how you will charge it. I am not going to put it on the charger to show you. It's just basically basic. Um, obviously when you are charging it something on your face will come to let you know that you are in charging mode you know how it goes even like with your phone you have the little battery that's showing that you are charging so this is like I said it's magnetic and then it just goes right there and you will be charging your watch so there you go just USB little magnetic charger 
Okay, the next thing I'm going to do before I turn this watch on is you have to download an application onto your iPhone that is called Dove Fit. Now, they give you a QR code here that you can scan. I don't really have a QR scanner, so I just typed in Dove Fit, and the Fit came up, and I'm going to hit Get. I'm going to download it onto my phone, double-click. It's going to install. And then once it's installed, you have further directions. Okay, so the battery was completely dead. So I am just going to have to charge it before I go any farther. Um, I suppose that I will continue after this is charged fully. So like I said, it just goes straight on there. It's magnetized. And I'm going to just let it charge because as of now, it is dead. Okay, so we're gonna jump straight back into this video. It is legit the next day, and I've had a chance to wear this watch um, the whole night while I was at work. I'm a third shift worker, so I wore it all night long, and um, after I charged it all up, and so now I am back to finish this review, and now I have lots to talk about. So I gotta try to cram this all into like a video less than 20 minutes because I cannot stand it when my videos are up over 20 minutes. I really can't. Anyhow, so let's get started. So I was finally able to switch out this pink uh, band for the band that I really wanted. This band is what I ordered, what I thought I was getting. I didn't realize I was getting this one, but uh, this one, I'm just going to tell you a quick little story. So I wore it to work last night, and the little snap was snapped in there, like this, like how it's supposed to be. And I went to go use the bathroom, and as I was pulling my britches up, it unsnapped itself, and the watch went flying on the floor. So that, I came straight home and said, mm, I'm going to try the other band. So the other band, I finally struggled and got it to work, and I really like it. Like I said earlier, it has this little magnetic. So when you go to put it on, and it, it really, listen. Yes, it's really strong. It really is. Um, now you can change the photos on your screen you can just download um, I'll go ahead and go through a couple of little settings here so you have the button on the side let's see here right there's a little button on the side so when you push that button oh, do you see my feet down there <laughs> anyhow so if you push the button on the side you go through all your different You can scroll, do your scrolling, but if you push the button on the side, it goes back to your main page. So, uh, to change the the um, face screen, you actually have to use the app. So, anything that happens on this phone goes, or I mean on the watch, goes to your phone on the app. So, I'm going to go ahead and install a couple little photos where I was able to do things on here but see them um it's it stores it on the app so let me give you an example uh let's see if you wanted to um check your oxygen levels so it's right now it's telling me it's 97 percent. so if i were to go to my phone and see it it would say the same thing so i'm going to go ahead and put some pictures of what the watch says and how it's stored on my phone so let me i'll put those on right here
Okay, another thing you have to do too is this runs on Bluetooth. So you have to go into your Bluetooth, turn your Bluetooth on, and you have to find the watch. And this watch is the T99S. So you have to connect to the watch. And mind you, this is through Bluetooth. <laughs> so it's connected. But you also have to go up here to the audio T99S and connect with that. Now it automatically went ahead and connected it this time. However, I had to push it and connect it myself before. So this watch strictly runs off Bluetooth and your phone. So one thing to remember is if you are away from your phone, it really isn't going to be working other than just for the time. Okay. Okay, and so the app is called Duffit. Duffit. So let's tap on Duffit and see what comes up. So it has a ton of options here, a ton. So it tells me my steps so far today. Uh, mind you, I've only been up for a few hours because I work third shift. So I've already done 1,814 steps, blah, 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 blah. You got your heart rate. So on the back side of this, I'll show you when I take the watch off. It has a monitor on there. So it, it's checking your heart rate. Um, it's checking your blood pressure. I have some things that I think about that because I'm not quite sure if I believe in blood pressure on a watch when you have to have the cuff on your arm that tightens down and then the stethoscope to hear your beats as your blood is, uh, you know, as it's pumping down and through your veins. I don't know how a watch can do that around your wrist, but nonetheless, hey, that's a good 125 over 73. That's pretty darn good. Blood oxygen level, uh, it's uh, also, it's checking that through the little, uh, there's some sensors, like I said, I'll show you in a second. And uh, so it must be checking it through there. 97, nonetheless, is a, it's a good oxygen level. Um, I wouldn't rely on it as if it was 100% uh, as if it was your doctor. But nonetheless, hey, mine showed that it was good. Um, so we have different little options over here. Like I said, here's the watch. It is the T99S. Um, it gives you a little Wi-Fi. I'm thinking that's like a little like its Wi-Fi address. Um, so it's showing me where my battery is at. Here's your watch faces. You can use these different faces, um, but you can only edit the one at the bottom. And as you can see, I got my little grandson. Uh, you can only edit that one. So if you choose one of these other faces, that's what you're going to get. Or the stock one comes with the little world the little world but uh, obviously you can put whatever you want down here and adjust the, uh, the brightness and you can change like um, you can change the way the the actual time colors you can choose you know I have mine yellow eh, but you can do pink blue whatever it, it's the sky's the limit you can you can manipulate that one but none of the other ones you got your alarms I went ahead and set a couple of alarms you can run them you have to set the alarm in the app and then you're able to set it from the watch so some stuff you absolutely have to do from the app um let's see here we got um shutter for your camera so you can you're supposed to be able to control your camera from the watch. Um, we're going to talk about that toward the end of the video. Um, and then you got just your just simple little things like here, how you want your time formats, blah, 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 blah. This also has the weather. So I'll show you, you go into the weather and you type in your area. Like I live, the closest area to me is Grand Rapids. So I typed in Grand Rapids. I'll go ahead and show you a picture right here of how the weather comes up a couple little photos right here okay and then it has some other goofy little things that you can like have it remind you to drink water blah 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 um also down here if you are a female it will let you put in your female your cycle days yada 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 if you are not a female you won't be interested in that but it just has some little extra little tidbits um and then you got over here you're gonna do your profile 
So obviously, yeah, I do my female, blah, 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 my birth date, yeah, blah, 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 your height, whatever. So that's just your little profile. You can put in a goal. I have a goal of 9,000 steps per day, which obviously I'm going to up that soon because I want to get some extra steps in. And then you got your health stuff. You can connect this to a health app. So I tried to connect it to my Apple Health and it did not work. So I'm not quite sure what's the deal with that, but it would not work. Um, so let's that that's the app in a nutshell. You really have to play around with the app. One thing I really liked about this watch was that it could take phone calls. It has two little speakers on the side here. So when phone calls come in, oh, see, here we go. Let's see. Hello? Hi, David. Hey, Mom. What you doing? Uh, I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Late at night. Yeah. Oh, well, my face went empty. Okay. Well, yeah. Hey, see, the call works pretty good. Um, all right. Well, hey, I'll talk to you in a little bit. I'm just doing this video right now. Oh, really? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. All the I said, hey. Okay. I'll tell everybody you said hi. All right. Bye. Love you. <laughs> okay, I will. Bye. <laughs> yep. Oops, I hung up on him. Anyhow, <laughs> it you couldn't hear very well because I had forgot to turn the volume up. But it'll always tell you when you've had a recent call. And you can actually see, uh, you can actually dial out too. So if I wanted to dial out, I can dial out and then call somebody. One thing that I noticed, though, is that it is, does not give the name. So it's like you can, it, it keeps a list of everyone who called, but it doesn't put their name in it. So you can only just see the number. And that's not bad. I guess you uh, don't may not know who's calling you, but if you re recognize the numbers, you'll know. Okay, so nonetheless, to wrap up this watch, review I have to say that you get what you pay for I'm impressed with the watch I like it however I do not believe that um, the steps are accurate um, I purposefully put my phone in my back pocket and used the Apple health watch and had the watch on itself and did my walking around while I was at work and the steps were off by like a hundred. It was like 112 steps, it was off. Also, it's hard for me to believe that it is checking your blood pressure considering that you don't have a cuff on and the cuff is not tightening and I don't know how it can tell your blood pressure. Um, maybe your beats per minute and maybe your oxygen level how, how does it tell your oxygen levels through your wrist I so I'm not really sold on that um and the two things I really wanted out of this watch is not working it doesn't work for me I've tried everything I've reread the manual the manual is pretty clear um, its directions are pretty clear I'll tell you that but I just could not get it to work now because it says that you can um, receive your text messages and you can receive your text messages but you can't reply to them but still nonetheless if you recognize the number and you see what the message is that's awesome you know however upon going through everything thoroughly and figuring it out, I realized that the only messages you can get are like WhatsApp and Facebook messaging and things like that. Those are what you're going to get alerted to. I don't use those. I don't use Facebook Messenger. I do not use WhatsApp. I don't know what WhatsApp is. I don't, I, all I just use is my regular messaging. And for some reason it would not link up to that. So like whenever I kept trying and trying and trying. So when I would say to my kids, I'd be like, hey, hurry up and message me so I can see if this works. And uh, this is what I kept getting. Empty. 
empty. So I'm not going to download any other type of messaging app to get my messages. To me, that's just not worth it. Um, the other thing that really disappointed me, this really disappointed me, it has the camera thing on it to um, manipulate your shutter on your phone. So in other words, you should be able to take your phone and set it up somewhere, right? And then you bring the camera app up on this phone. Uh, I'm sorry, on the watch. I'm getting phone and watch mixed up. So you bring it up on your seat. See, see the little camera, the little camera. You're supposed to be able to. Now I feel it vibrate. It vibrates, but it doesn't control your camera on your phone. You're supposed to be able to set your phone up somewhere, turn this on, click it, and take a photo. So hands-free photo. You control your. Uh, your um, camera. So those are two things that I really wanted it to work and it didn't work. Another thing too is that if you, because this has to connect to Bluetooth, that's how it runs is Bluetooth. So if you do anything on your phone, I mean anything. I was trying to play a video game, Candy Crush, on my phone and it was going through the two little speakers and there was no way for me to turn it off unless I disabled the watch. So if I disabled the watch, how's the watch going to work just because I wanted to play a game? Um, another thing, too, is if you get out of range from your phone, the watch doesn't do any of its fancy, fancy, fancy stuff. It just it doesn't do anything. So it relies on your phone, and you have to be within the range of your phone. So if that's the case, I might as well just keep my phone in my back pocket. So, I'm not going to give it a zero or a thumbs down or anything like that. I'm kind of going to give it like it, this for me, for me, because um, it, it is a nice watch. And if you are looking for something less expensive than an Apple watch, this probably would be it. You know, get yourself a smart watch that's capable of hooking up. You can also hook this up to Android. If you have an Android phone, you can hook it up to that. So this is iOS uh, compatible and Android compatible. And there are a ton of them out there. This is just one in the, in the million. Um, there's a lot of them out there. But some people can't afford an Apple Watch. Some people can't afford the new Android watches. So nonetheless, you have watches out there. They range anywhere from $30 to $75 to $100. So, But that's just my take on this one. This is the um, T99S. And uh, that's it for me. You know, I'm going to keep on wearing it, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe I will do a recap a little later down the road after I've had it for a little while and got more hands-on. Maybe some new stuff will come up. Um, maybe not. I don't know. But nonetheless, that's my take on this watch. So you guys have a good night, and I hope everyone is being safe once again. And... Give your loved ones a hug. Bye, guys. <laughs>